Putin's nuclear weapons have already been moved to Belarus, the tyrant rages, telling the West, go to hell. This weekend, Russia's president confirmed that some of Russia's nuclear arsenal has been moved to Belarus. Vladimir Putin has mocked Ukraine for its reliance on foreign equipment, saying the country has no chances in its planned counterattack this spring and summer. The transfer of tactical nuclear weapons to an ally is a precautionary measure in case of attack, Putin said Friday at the St. Petersburg International Economic Forum. According to Belarus's president, he personally requested the weapons. They want to cut our numbers even though we already outnumber NATO countries. Putin basically said, go to hell. The Russian leader also said that the transfer of weapons to Belarus would be completed by the summer's end. To quote Putin, if a threat is created to our territorial integrity, independence, and sovereignty, nuclear weapons will be used. According to Putin, Russia's special military operation against Ukraine lasted for 16 months and destroyed everything that was left of its military equipment. He warned that, you can't fight for long, if all of your resources come from other countries. Putin also stated, we have never closed the door, on peace talks with Ukraine. The British tabloid Sun also reported that Putin said the Ukrainian president, Volodymyr Zelensky, is, not a proper Jew. Putin has even called Zelensky a Nazi, an accusation which the latter strongly refutes. Putin added that the Russian economy is booming, despite the severe economic sanctions imposed by Western countries. Putin was quoted by Reuters as saying the Russian economy will grow by 1.5% to 2% in 2018. He also said that salaries in Russia have gone up. Some have warned that the collapse of the U.S. economy could be precipitated by the de-dollarization of the Russian economy, but Putin has denied that he supports such a move. Putin, however, pointed out that while rubles are used in about 90% of settlements with allies, yuan is used in 80% of transactions with China. Putin continued, we practically have no contacts with the United States. They simply shifted the conversation to one about arms transfers. On Sunday, a Russian-installed official confirmed that Ukraine had retaken a village in the southern Zaporizhia region the country's second success on that front since the beginning of the month. According to Vladimir Rogov, an official, Ukrainian forces have captured the town of Piaty Katki and are currently entrenched there while taking fire from Russian artillery. Despite suffering massive casualties, the enemy's wave-like offensives were successful, Rogov reported on Telegram. He added that the area is still experiencing heavy fighting. Ukraine did not immediately respond, and Reuters was unable to verify the situation on the ground independently. Russian forces are reportedly suffering heavy casualties, and President Vladimir Putin claimed last week that Ukraine's counteroffensive stood, no chance, of succeeding. Ukraine reported last week that it had recaptured 100 square kilometers, 38 square miles, of territory in just over a week including a series of villages in the eastern region of Donetsk. Ukraine announced on June 12 that it had secured Lobkov, a village in the Zaporizhia region adjacent to Piatikatki.